sequence page. At this top, you have a map of the country. You have some weather around Houston. All the green dots mean the airports are on time, but Denver, you can see, is yellow, so that means moderate delays. If you ever see a red, that means severe delays. So after COVID, there's not too many red dots anymore. Maybe in the wintertime there will be. But if you touch Denver, you touch it just right. It's kind of hard to do. It says arrival delays for airborne aircraft of 16 minutes to 30 minutes and increasing due to traffic volume. So it gives you a little bit of information about what the delay is about. So sometimes if your flight's saying it's arriving on time officially, but you see like a red dot, you know that's probably not going to be a good prediction. Okay, underneath, um, you see right here is the aircraft type. If you touch the nose number underneath there, it will say where your inbound aircraft is. It shows your flight number. The 71 means uh, 71 open seats on the plane. 8 means 8 non-revs on the list. Um, these are your departure city, arrival city, departure gate, arrival gate. And it says actual. So it's green. It means we left early. So we left at 916, got in at 1058, actually. And if you tap that, it will give you scheduled versions. So we're supposed to leave at 925. We left at 916, so left quite a bit early. Um, there's your black time. Underneath there, you have your captain, Eric, first officer. It's, uh, over here is your employee numbers, bases. If it's got a little chat icon next to the name, that means they have the app and you can chat with them. Uh, there's the higher dates. And let's touch somebody like Sean Pitts. Let's touch that name. And you can make notes about the person. This is just for yourself. It only saves on your device. Save notes. All right, and go back. What else you could do? You could chat with the person. Say, hey, Sean. And give that a second to load. There you go. Okay. Um, you can see your current sequence. Or you can see our history together. So I've only flown with them that one time. Otherwise, it'd be a bigger list. Um, there's your layover time. This is your layover uh, information. So you can actually touch the phone number and it will dial for you. Um, this pickup location and many details, that's all maintained by us. So you just hit these edit buttons and it will um, let you edit it for the next crew. On the next leg, I deadheaded back. And lastly, let's say you're getting close to your timeout uh, cutoff point. So you hit legality over here. And it says must depart by 2020-10-7 um, at 9.24 p.m. So that's when the door has to be shut and you're ready for pushback. Any time past that period for that particular leg, uh, you're going to be illegal. And sometimes this is not going to be accurate like if you had a really weird report time that wasn't scheduled or let's say you got the trip off standby so you do the time modifications here and then this actually i did get off standby so i'll hit this duty period with standby and i'll put my standby report time and hit recalculate all right so now's my new um illegal time and maybe the system misclassified your trip like that sometimes happens uh, for example if they build a legal trip so you hit restrictions and this one calculated correctly but there's all kinds of rules different legality rules based on what kind of trip it is and you can just change it and uh, make it fit whatever you think it should be but almost all the time it's right um, at the bottom, you can import the trip to your email, or you can send it to TripIt. I think TripIt is the last uh, exporting function that still works. The rest of it at the moment are not working. Um, but you just hit Submit, and it will send it there. And if you want to sign up, you hit Sign Up. And you choose which one you want to sign up to, put your email address, hit Submit, and then it gives you some instructions. That's about it for that page.